Uh, hello and welcome to Lab the Advantage. Uh, today we are going to discuss why you cannot master Lab View by watching uh, Lab View YouTube videos, and that includes the uh, Lab the Advantage channel also. So uh, this uh, presentation uh, I prepared uh, so that uh, you'll not be wasting too much time uh, thinking that, okay, I'm watching YouTube videos on LabVIEW now, I'm going to uh, be expert in the industry. So uh, don't be mistaken, uh, we're, we have not put out all these videos so that uh, you can actually become expert in the industry uh, just by watching the YouTube videos. Uh, we'll discuss why. So about me, uh, my name is Ram Gurung. I am the certified LabVIEW architect and LabVIEW champion. I've trained uh, more than uh, 500 and nearly uh, touching 600 professionals in the industry, uh, which includes uh, nearly 95% of the engineers, uh, professionals, and the uh, rest of them are scientists and only very few number of students. So uh, these professionals uh, works at more than 100 companies worldwide, and uh, we have been successful of uh, producing 157 certified lab developers and nine certified lab architects. Uh, the architects are the experts in the industry uh, who uses LabVIEW. So uh, apart from my uh, you know, instructor career, uh, I have been consulting with LabVIEW uh, since 2012, uh, nearly 10 years now. And I've also presented at several events such as the CLA Summit, uh, GLA Summit, a CLD Summit, Developer Days, and uh, several uh, community events. So in 2019, I founded Graphitex, and uh, currently we provide the LabVIEW and Test and Consulting services uh, worldwide, and we also provide the training and certification services, uh, which is best in the industry, and we also provide recruitment uh, services regarding the LabVIEW, Test and, and the NI technologies. So uh, before we jump in, uh, I want to let's uh, compare the pros and cons of learning uh, LabVIEW from YouTube videos. Most of the people have put out the LabVIEW videos uh, in the YouTube and most of the people think, okay, this is the best way to learn and everything. Uh, here are like uh, some uh, comparison of pros and cons. Uh, let's say you go to the YouTube and then like a search for the LabVIEW video. So the pros are uh, obviously like it's a faster way. You can just go and then like uh, you don't need to uh, go through different hurdles. You can just go to the YouTube and search for it and you can watch it. And it's a cheaper way also. And it's a problem. Is with, let's say you want to fix a particular kind of problem. You can go to the YouTube. Uh, if uh, some, uh, you know, some person has already uploaded that kind of video on the problem matter, then like it's easier for you to find that one. And it's good for the express users. Express users basically means people don't use LabVIEW day in and day out. So it's good for them because like they just want to use LabVIEW and forget about it. Now the <laughs> issues happen when uh, you want to develop larger applications. So for larger applications, like using the uh, LabVIEW uh, YouTube videos as a foundation is a very wrong way to go. Uh, the main reason being that it's a very problem specific in nature. Like uh, it does not discuss about like a different modules or different processes or inter-process communication and large number of stuff. So if you are using large scale application and you are using uh, your YouTube videos, uh, what you can find in the internet as the foundation to develop the application, then you are making a big, big mistake. And you can also learn in the wrong way because in the YouTube, like uh, everybody can post these videos. Uh, there is no one to regulate whether they are pro uh, properly following the best way of uh, developing the application. So you can actually learn in a wrong way also. So you might be learning the wrong approach. And in most of the cases, like uh, it can create a lot of issue afterwards. And another thing is like, uh, uh, since you are looking for only these specific problems, you lack the full picture. You do not know how the entire development processes works in LabVIEW or any software programming languages. So you will not be able to see the entire thing. It's uh, you can say uh, you can only have the keyhole, keyhole view of the application development process. And there is no structure in training. That basically means you do not know like uh, which one comes first, which one comes afterwards. So you are learning from here and there. And uh, again, like uh, you will be learning in the wrong way. So again, uh, if you are working in a team-based development environment, it's going to create a chaos because uh, 
if you are learning from the YouTube that like uh, most possibly uh, you do not know the proper way of developing the code, which basically means like uh, there will be a lot of miscommunication between the team members and it can actually significantly delay your application development process. And uh, the main limitation of learning LabVIEW from YouTube videos is like we have already mentioned is missing the biggest picture. So missing the biggest picture basically means uh, for example, like uh, if you are in the valley or something, you can only see things around you. You cannot actually see what we refer to as the bird's eye view. So this is known as the keyhole view. So like uh, uh, why we're talking about the keyhole view is like if you look from the keyhole into a particular room, you can only see the light, the amount of the area through which the light can pass through that keyhole. You cannot see the entire thing inside the room. So like uh, it can actually create a lot of issue if you are building a large applications. So uh, let's look into the example. Let's say uh, you watch uh, here like a several YouTube videos. Here I am showing you, let's say, uh, for the sake of the example here, we have got the 11 videos. You have watched like 11 videos and uh, you do not know like uh, where they fall. So you do not know the order. You do not know the structure of the training or something. But anyhow, like uh, because of uh, how you are looking for certain topics or something, you learned in bits and pieces. Now, like uh, when you are watching uh, the videos uh, uh, this way, what usually happens is like uh, you might come to your own conclusion or your own like understanding, uh, which is uh, most of the time is going to be wrong because very limited uh, information is there. Uh, so let's say like uh, one person learns this way, uh, another person learns this way, another person learns this way. So what is the proper way of doing it? Because like, uh, like I said, uh, the lot of information is missing because of that reason. Uh, you will not be able to see the entire uh, process of the application development, uh, which was actually supposed to be like this. Okay, so let's say uh, the actual process or the entire uh, big picture is more like, uh, you know, the sinusoidal wave like this here, uh, which is just an example. Uh, but since you have like, a, you know, uh, because you are trying to uh, create uh, the system based on the limited information or like uh, just a few YouTube videos, you will not be able to grasp the entire full picture. And this is the limitation. But if you actually follow the entire procedure or something, you don't need to, you don't need to actually handicap yourself uh, to your own assumptions. So in this case, like uh, you already know the entire process. So like uh, you don't need to worry about uh, where you could go wrong. So, uh, but uh, the question may arise that like, okay, uh, you are saying that uh, lab uh, YouTube videos are not good. <laughs> then why did I started the lab you advantage channel? You might be asking this question. So why there is a lab YouTube uh, advantage channel? Like why you are trying to, you know, fool us? Like if YouTube videos cannot help me to become better lab you developer. So uh, the first question is going to be, like I said earlier, like uh, the YouTube videos, has got certain kind of advantage also if you want to solve a specific problem it's good you can go and search and then you can learn very quickly but uh, it's very bad like if you want to develop a more scalable or like a structured uh, programming so one of the reasons like why i started uh, the labby advantage channel was uh, there were already a lot of uh, youtube channels on labview uh, but uh, like uh, they were mostly like a uh, product and services centric. Uh, let's say like a uh, one X Y Z company had uh, you know started their uh, YouTube channel. But now like uh, they will be using that YouTube channel only to promote their product and services rather than you know providing the vast uh, uh, different kind of potential that LabVIEW has. And that is where I wanted to demonstrate the potential of LabVIEW. And the objective was not only about LabVIEW but a holistic approach because. Uh, I didn't want to put it like a too much technical, but also I wanted to include the LabVIEW community. Uh, if you have watched uh, several videos, like it includes the presentations from, you know, uh, the experts, uh, even such as the CLA Summit, GL, CLD Summit, GLA Summit, and uh, Indian LabVIEW user group events also. And uh, you can also see like, uh, you know, the interviews with the LabVIEW champions and LabVIEW legends, uh, where you can actually uh, know the path and then like how they progress in the industry. So it actually provides the holistic view. But the main, main, main reason was this. This was the biggest problem of them all. I have, uh, like I mentioned, I trained a lot of uh, people in the industry. Uh, but like uh, whenever I came across a lot of lab instructors, 
lot of lab instructors in the industry they have never developed application in the uh, in lab view okay so they are lab instructors but they have never developed application in lab view this is the biggest 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 problem and that is what i can see like a lot of uh, youtube videos in uh, on lab view that like uh, people they don't have the proper structure or something they are actually training people to mislead and then they learn in the wrong way uh, and another thing is like, uh, you know, when I was working for like, uh, you know, uh, consulting for like several firms, including National Instruments and other organizations, I had the opportunity to interview the lab professionals because uh, it is my forte. So <laughs> uh, there, like I had the opportunity to uh, interview CLADs, CLDs as well as CLAs, but they were like certified in papers, but uh most of the people like uh, you know even the cld clads and some of the clads they didn't even knew the difference between the block diagram and uh you know the front panel and it's actually true and uh, some of the people i uh, you know uh interviewed cla's like uh, it was like a very bad also uh so uh, they were certified but like they didn't have the essence of responsible developer and this is what actually encouraged me to build a graphics company so graphics basically means uh, graphical programming architect is the short form for that one acronym, uh, which literally means you know what you are doing. So basically like uh, if you're just watch the YouTube videos and learning on your own, you do not know what you are doing. You're just like, uh, you know, you might be reusing somebody else's code. You might be learning from your colleagues. Uh, I'm not judging that one, but uh, most of the time, like uh, you are just uh, running a hunches. So, uh, uh, Graphics basically means you know what you are doing. This is very, very important. Uh, so this is why like uh, all our trainings are optimized and loved by the participants. If you look into the LinkedIn, my LinkedIn page, uh, you'll find that like uh, we already have like 100 plus recommendations from industry professionals. The training is very structured. It's the best learning experience in the industry and it's the uh, best competitive pricing for the value. And uh, like I mentioned that like it is nearly impossible to find the best combination of developer and instructor, but it's the at Graphitex is the only thing you get. Okay, we have got the extensive experience in the industry as well as you know the uh, training professionals to become experts. So uh, I'll give you like a little bit of examples how the structured works. For example, like uh, this is the agenda of our beginners training. If you see like uh, this structure actually uh, goes in certain structure. So if you learn in a sequence and like uh, you'll have hands on and all the tutorials uh, there like uh, with uh, theories and uh, the practical significance in the industry. Uh, if you go this like uh, you can never go wrong. You'll know like uh, where you are he heading towards. And if you have completed the beginner's training, as you can see, this is the intermediate training agenda for the CLD preparation. Again, like uh, it's the you know, proven and tested in the industry. So you can actually go in sequence. It is going to save a lot of your time. I can guarantee you that like after going through uh, this training, you don't need to go to YouTube videos. Okay, You might have to go for a specific problem, but like I can guarantee you that like uh, you don't have to spend your like hours and hours waiting for some videos to come out. So you can learn like uh, entire thing you'll know. And if you go even further, like as you can see, we have already provided the advanced training out there also. Uh, CLA Summit, this is CLA preparation. This is the highest uh, level like uh, uh, in LabVIEW certification. And uh, you can actually, you know, learn different kind of advanced uh, ways of uh, developing applications with uh, multiple processes in team-based environment. And if you want to go even further, like uh, we also provide the object oriented programming and solid principles. This is the, uh, you know, best way, like most of the people argue that LabVIEW is not the, uh, uh, you know, general purpose language or any kind of language, but like uh, you can uh, always argue that and then uh, you can actually, you know, uh, go with this one. So it's the best thing uh, if you want to learn object oriented programming LabVIEW, it's a very powerful way of writing a LabVIEW code. And uh, finally, like uh, this is the most advanced uh, course we provide. Like uh, it's a very rare kind of course in the industry. Also, this is basically using the Actor Framework and Certified LabVIEW Architect uh, preparation using Actor Framework. You can go with either of that based on your need and everything. This is where like uh, you will be working with the the highest uh, level of LabVIEW programming theories using the object oriented programming in the Actor Framework. So uh, like I mentioned that like, uh, you know, these are the different ways I just showed you the agenda so that you can understand what the structure means that so that like uh, you are not going to get lost. You'll know the full picture of what you do. So here like uh, I pro provided the uh, 
comparison between the Graphtex courses versus the Lavi Advantage YouTube channel. So Graphtex, uh, as we already know, is the best in the industry. Uh, learning experience is phenomenal. We have trained like, uh, you know, the nearly 600 people. We have no, we haven't got like any of the, you know, uh, customer like uh, we're saying that, okay, like the training was bad or something. And uh, like I said, like uh, you'll know what you are doing after the course and the course is structured. It's progressive in nature. That basically means now you are moving forward. Okay. Yet if you are uh, uh, using like, uh, you know, YouTube videos, including the Lavi Advantage uh, channel, like uh, you'll not know like uh, where you are going. Okay. You might be learning some of the advanced stuff. You might be learning some of the basic stuff, but you do not know the direction where you are heading towards. And uh, through the graph text course, you can become the expert in the industry that is guaranteed. And it's a proven way to get certified in LabVIEW. For example, like if you are preparing for CLD or CLA, it's the proven way. And finally, like uh, if you look the advantage of the LabVIEW Advantage uh, YouTube channel, I'm saying like it's not useless, but I'm talking here like uh, putting the point out as becoming the expert in LabVIEW. So uh, LabVIEW Advantage YouTube channel can be used for the specific problem, specific purpose. For example, like I said, if you're looking for certain kind of problem solving, you can always go to the YouTube channel and search for it. And another advantage is free. And uh, you can learn different potential of LabVIEW, what the LabVIEW is capable of. So these are the things like uh, the uh, comparison between them. And if you are interested to, uh, you know, uh, to build your expertise uh, using LabVIEW in the test and measurement industry and work for like, you know, very large uh, multinational companies or start your own uh, consulting firm, then like uh, uh, there's no best way than enrolling yourself in the graphtex.com courses website link. So I wish you all the best and uh, I hope like uh, you'll become one of the best in the industry and become very, very successful using LabVIEW. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, you can share, comment, uh, and uh, share this video. Thank you very much for watching.